Hey, welcome to King Worldwide. My name is Lisa. This is my dad, Roy. Hello, everybody. If we look like we're looking at a funny way, we, um, yours truly for, didn't have our, the, our camera charged. So glory to God, we're using the phone. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great testimony, having a good attitude at all times. And we're going to start this way. In the last broadcast, Lisa spoke about the blessing that was recorded in Genesis. <laughs> that was recorded in Genesis. Okay, you want to get your scripture? Yes, it's, I'm ready. Okay, Genesis 1, 28, Amplified. And God blessed them, granting them authority, and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth, and subjugate it, which means putting it under your power, and rule over, which means dominate, the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and every living thing that moves upon the earth. And subsequently, after Genesis 1.28, after the earth was destroyed in the flood, God continued the blessing through covenant with Noah in this verse. Genesis 9, 1 through 3 from the ESV. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, which is like respect, you know, and upon every bird of the heavens, upon everything that creeps on the ground, and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And, I, and as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. God's plan for every one of us is to live exactly the way she read in both of those verses. Have total dominion over everything other than people. That was God's plan. And we're really not supposed to be going through all this junk in society that we are right now. But the only reason why that we are is that Satan is the God of this world. And so therefore, we've been given the authority and power to counteract and to drive that sucker out. and it's We up, hadn't done it as a up, body. It's up to us to do it or junk like this in society now uh, here here in America will continue to take place. But, right. but we've, got, we've got the trump card, and that <laughs> is that's God's word. So how about that? So therefore, That's really good. Uh, we, just, we just follow it. So what is the blessing? We've, you know, we've talked about that on a number of different uh, broadcasts that we've done, but it's the very creative force of God. It's God's empowerment. Since the anointing is part of the blessing, then one who is anointed is one who has the, listen to it, one who is anointed is one who has the power of God on them. That includes all of us. And the question is, how are we using it? Well, we're going to find out. That was why the foundational scripture for King Worldwide Ministries is this verse. Matthew 6, 33, I'm reading from Amplified. But first and most importantly, seek aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness, which is his way of doing and being right, which is the attitude and character of God. And then all things will be given to you. So all things will be given to all of us when first we seek him first. Because the blessing is like the royalty. It's yeah. like it's like his way. It's his kingdom. It's, every, it's the way he does things. That's exactly right. And uh, so it's, it's our responsibility to seek God first, to seek his kingdom first, and to operate mentally and physically within the confines or the parameters of his system, right. the kingdom of God. Now, all these things will be added unto us from the kingdom of God. That is unlimited and not from, and that's unlimited from God, from the kingdom, but it's not unlimited from the natural world system or the government because all of that is limited. And you can see that if you've been on the earth any length of time. <laughs> all right. 
herein lies, here's what I want to get to. Herein lies, I think, the biggest challenge, in my opinion, for all believers, including me in the past, oftentimes we get so focused. Let me put it this way. Oftentimes I would get so focused on my challenges that I would uh, so caught up on my own thinking and human reasoning that I would not be able to hear the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Now, I said at the beginning of that long sentence, I think it's the biggest challenge for all believers, and I still do. And, uh, and the reason being is because we're in the natural world, and so by being in the natural world, it is consuming us unless, if you will, we swim upstream and get into God's Word and let God's Word consume us. If we don't let God's Word consume us, then we're going to be flapping around here in this world, back and forth, up and down, good and bad and whatnot. It's like Christians doing life the world's way. It's very fr great, it's more frustrating. Great, great explanation, yeah. It's, it's more frustrating. It's probably better for people to be non-believers in the natural because Satan's not coming after them. But when you're a believer and you're living like the world, trying to pay bills, trying to excel, trying to do what mm. everybody else is doing, it is the most frustrating. And I quit. I actually had to quit. That is what happened. And a lot of people have too much pride and say, I'm not quitting. I'm going to make this happen. That's the problem. The Lord said, I couldn't do it anymore, honestly. I just had to quit. And then when I quit, doing life with Nisa leading... That was the answer. It was such a great thing. And what we do, and when we go the world's way, we end up trying to figure out what we're going to do instead of looking to God and tapping into the unlimited resources of the kingdom of he God. He already knows the perfect plan. Even though I didn't have the iPad, whatever, charged today, that hardly ever happens. So we're using the phone for some reason. But I usually have the, I wasn't prompted to check it again today. So we're going with the flow. But that means that I'm not living in my head, which right or wrong, I'm not. I'm going to live in the spirit. And we're going to have a good attitude. And that's how we do it. That's how, that's how we roll. That's how we roll. So this means, this means that what we're to do is stop thinking within ourselves and start thinking inside the word and what God can do. The limitless power of Almighty God is ours to enforce. We have, as we've given you two verses in Genesis, we have the unlimited power. We have the unlimited power of Almighty God within us. So we either use it or stay limited. We can kind of take our pick. Limited or unlimited. Limited or unlimited. That's it. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. <laughs> okay, glory to God. We'll see you soon.